Get ready to witness the most mind-blowing and jaw-dropping military technologies and vehicles from around the world. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most insane inventions that have changed the course of modern warfare. So buckle up and join us on this incredible journey through the world of military technology. Let's talk about the Ariansmet UGV, an unmanned infantry support vehicle from South Korea that recently caught the attention of many. The vehicle was unveiled at a U.S. military base near Seoul, and it's clear that the designers have their sights set on the U.S. market. The Ariansmet is an electric model with an impressive range of up to 100 kilometers and a payload of 550 kilograms. But what's most interesting are the vehicle's internal components. Like many South Korean products, this UGV uses state-of-the-art technologies. The brain of the vehicle is equipped with a neural network that allows it to quickly detect and track enemy soldiers, as well as respond to gunshots. The vehicle can also drive itself off-road, making it ideal for MUMT, manned unmanned teaming, operations involving both manned and unmanned vehicles. What do you think of this new UGV? The Dedrone Drone Defender is an American creation that looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. However, this innovative device is very real and is designed to take down drones. The manufacturer has been very clever in creating a product that will be useful not only for the military, but also for law enforcement agencies and for protecting important locations such as embassies. The operation of the D-Drone Drone Defender is simple. You just need to aim it at a drone and block any radio frequencies. After that, it all depends on the type of drone. Some will land immediately, while others will automatically return to their takeoff point. With a range of 2 kilometers and an operating time of up to 2 hours, this product is a powerful tool for protecting sensitive areas. Despite its impressive capabilities, the D-Drone Drone Defender weighs just 7 kilograms and is easy to operate, making it a great choice for a variety of users. It doesn't require much technical knowledge to use, which means that even inexperienced operators can quickly learn how to use it. What do you think of the D-Drone Drone Defender? Do you think it will be a useful tool for protecting important areas from rogue drones? It seems that Poland has also developed a drone defense system, known as the Lancer. The Lancer 2.0 is a more compact version of its predecessor, and boasts a touch panel for power modes and 4 hours of standby mode. According to its creators, the Lancer can work alongside external surveillance systems as well as on its own. However, its operating range is more modest at around 1 km. It's interesting to see another country developing a similar system to the D-Drone Drone Defender, and it will be exciting to see how these technologies continue to evolve and compete in the future. What do you think about this new development from Poland? The Elbit Systems Lanius is an exciting new AI drone from Israel that has a lot of impressive capabilities. This compact UAV can work in groups of three and has the ability to find and track people, perform mapping and reconnaissance, and classify targets both indoors and outdoors. One of the most interesting features of this drone is that it can operate autonomously, allowing the operator to simply give general commands and allowing the drone to navigate around obstacles on its own. With a payload of 150 grams and an airtime of about 7 minutes, the Lanius can be used for a wide range of tasks, from military operations to law enforcement. Overall, this is an innovative and impressive piece of technology that is sure to find a lot of applications in the future. Have you heard about an exciting new product from EOTech? A company that many shooting enthusiasts know and trust. They recently unveiled a laser sight at the SHOT Show 2023, and it's called the EOTech OGL. One of the most impressive things about the EOTech OGL is that it's incredibly compact, the size of a deck of cards. And despite its small size, it's still a powerful tool. The device operates on a single CR123 battery, which is enough to power it for up to 9 hours. Another great feature of the EOTech OGL is that the manufacturer offers both red and green lasers. The green laser is particularly useful in daylight and bad weather, as it's more visible than the red laser. Additionally, the device features a unique divergence adjustment system for the infrared illuminator, 
which can really come in handy in low light situations. It's worth noting that the full version of the EOTech OGL is scheduled to be delivered to law enforcement and military authorities later this year, and it will retail for around $2,200. In 2024, a version with a shorter range will be available for the civilian market, although the price of this version has not yet been announced. Overall, it seems like the EOTech OGL is an exciting new addition to the world of laser sights. Its compact size and powerful features make it a great choice for anyone who needs a reliable, high-quality laser sight for their shooting needs. What do you think of this new product from EOTech? Israeli specialists have recently introduced an innovative technology that provides troops with new attack and maneuvering capabilities. The technology is called the IAI Point Blank, and it's a single-use drone, also known as a kamikaze drone, with a payload of 2 kilograms. The IAI Point Blank is incredibly compact and can fit in a backpack, making it highly portable. It can be launched with one hand and has a range of 10 kilometers or 20 minutes, whichever comes first. The drone can reach speeds of up to 286 km per hour, making it an incredibly fast and agile piece of technology. One of the most impressive features of the IAI Point Blank is its ability to track the target and hover in place, giving troops greater flexibility and accuracy in their operations. It's no surprise that the United States has already shown interest in this development, and the manufacturer has even secured a contract with the U.S. Department of Defense. Overall, the IAI Point Blank is a cutting-edge technology that provides troops with a powerful new tool for their operations. Its compact size and impressive range and speed make it an attractive option for military and defense organizations around the world. What do you think of this new development from Israeli specialists? The Nebo-U is a radar system from Russia that can detect and track airborne objects. It is part of the Nebo family which includes versions for air defense and ground forces. The latest versions of the radar are impressive, with the capability to detect targets up to 1,800 km away and at altitudes of up to 1,200 km. This means it can detect any missile or even fifth-generation aircraft, including those that are hypersonic. The Nebo-U is an excellent addition to the S-400 surface-to-air missile system, as it enhances its detection capabilities. Despite its large size, there are special containers designed to move the Nebo radar system. The Patria Nemo container is an exciting new development in military technology, with a promising future. The container mobile mortar system was first unveiled in 2017, and after years of hard work, the development of the NEMO system was finally completed in February of this year. The system is contained within a 6-meter container, which houses 100-120mm mines and all the necessary equipment for autonomous operation. This means that the NEMO system can be fired from the ground or from the deck of a ship or a truck, making it incredibly versatile. The system can be manned by three people and is protected by the armor of the customer's choice, including ceramic armor. Overall, the NEMO system is a game-changer in the world of mobile artillery systems. Its ability to be quickly deployed and its autonomous operation make it an asset for military forces around the world. The NEMO system's design is unique and innovative, and it has already received a lot of attention from the military community. It will be interesting to see how the system is put to use in the coming years, and how it will perform in real-world situations. The PL-01 concept was an ambitious prototype from Poland, presented back in 2013 as a stealth tank with some impressive features. The tank was intended to be covered with a material that absorbed radio waves and featured a thermal camouflage to make it hard to detect. The tank was based on the Swedish CV-9120T light tank, and it boasted a 120mm gun capable of launching guided missiles compatible with NATO projectiles. Additionally, it featured an unmanned turret with remote control, a cross-country speed of up to 50 km per hour, and a 500 km range with an engine power of around 940 horsepower. However, there has been little news about the PL-01 since then, leading many experts and media outlets to believe the project has failed. 
Interestingly, the PL-01 has made appearances in some video games like GTA Online and Armored Warfare. Do you think this tank could have been successful if it was further developed and brought to the market? It seems like we have another interesting kamikaze drone on our hands. The Raphael Spike Firefly. It was recently showcased at the International Defense Exhibition ADEX. The drone is designed to hit small moving targets within a 1 km radius and can operate for up to 15 minutes with one charge or 30 minutes with additional batteries. The vertical takeoff feature makes it suitable for urban environments, and the set includes three drones, a control unit, batteries, a charger, and a backpack, all of which can be carried by a single soldier. The Israeli army has already used this drone, and there is also interest in it from the United States. Overall, this kamikaze drone seems like a powerful and versatile weapon that could provide a significant advantage to military forces in combat situations. The South Korean Redback IFV is an impressive machine that deserves attention. However, we also want to highlight the Israeli Spike LR2 missile system, which is one of the best multi-purpose models on the market. The Spike LR2 can effectively attack both vehicles, including tanks and fortifications. This missile system is highly configurable and can even penetrate 20 centimeters of reinforced concrete before detonation. When launched from the ground, the missile can hit targets up to 5.5 kilometers away, while its range can be increased to 10 kilometers when mounted on a helicopter. The Spike LR2 missile system is equipped with artificial intelligence, which allows the operator to track and engage even small targets or targets that disappear from radars. The Israeli company that developed the Spike LR2 is known for producing high-quality weapons and it shows in the performance of this missile system. What do you think of the Spike LR2? Do you think it would be useful in modern military operations? I heard about an exciting new development from Rainmetal, a company that many of our loyal fans know and love. They've just unveiled the Rainmetal Fox Evolution, which is the successor to the proven armored personnel carrier. It seems like the engineers at Rainmetal are really focused on mobility, reliability, and protection. With the versatility of its basic platform, the APC can be converted into all kinds of vehicles. It can serve as an ambulance, an engineering vehicle, or even an electronic warfare system. This makes it a great choice for a wide range of military applications. One of the most impressive features of the Rainmetal Fuchs Evolution is its powerful 455 horsepower engine, which allows it to reach a top speed of 100 km per hour. And with a payload capacity of 9 tons, it's more than capable of carrying heavy loads across difficult terrain. But perhaps one of the most exciting aspects of the Rainmetal Fuchs evolution is that it's set to be supported for at least 20 years. This means that spare parts and maintenance options will be readily available, so operators can be confident in the long-term viability of this vehicle. Overall, it's clear that the Rainmetal Fuchs Evolution is a top-of-the-line armored personnel carrier with a wide range of applications and impressive capabilities. It's sure to be a valuable asset for any military force that chooses to utilize it. What do you think of this exciting new development from Rainmetal? The Thales Satis is an incredible technology that has been designed as a firearm training simulator. It functions like a video game, where there are a number of scenarios with various parameters that can be altered, such as the location, weather conditions, and time of day. With the help of artificial intelligence, instructors can access detailed statistics and the simulator considers everything from trigger pressure to sight position. One of the most interesting things about this simulator is that it can be used for group training, which is an efficient way to train multiple people at once. It can also help instructors to become more efficient, which is a huge plus point. Overall, I think that the Thael Satis is a great example of how technology can be used to improve firearm training. It's important to have proper training for those who handle firearms, and this simulator seems like a very effective way to do that.